much for joining us here on Morning Live. Haroon, I'd like to start with you. A great innovative idea. Where did it come from? Well, um, unfortunately, we didn't have the test match at Newlands, the traditional test match at Newlands, which uh, we always have. Uh, what that meant was we needed to fill that uh, vacuum with some, uh, some content. And the innovation of uh, a festival of cricket was born. So uh, we're excited by it. We've got fantastic sales for tomorrow evening already. Uh, tickets are going very, very fast. There's not much left. Uh, Saturday uh, we still have some and Sunday so yes we're excited by what we what we're approaching this coming weekend. Haroon I'm very interested to hear what SA Rugby said when you went to Oregon and said you know what I would like our national T20 team to go up against the Springboks. <laughs> well we said to him as long as you don't want the reverse to happen where we go up <laughs> to play them in rugby. Uh, but they were very supportive. Um, they knew we had uh, a curtailed tour by India. Uh, we had the space to fill uh, at the typical Newlands encounter each year uh, over New Year. Uh, and they were very receptive. And of course, we're very, very grateful for that. So between uh, Yuri Ru and Andy Marinos, they were very, very uh, supportive. And uh, they, they lined up the, the spring box. And the man sitting next to you, you know, his physique, he's, he's tall, he's quite big. Maybe he'd make a very good fullback. I wonder how you'd enjoy that if they had to reverse the roles of the Proteas going up against the Springboks in a rugby match, David. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll look forward to that too much. Um, <laughs> we might be tall and lanky, but uh, I don't think we've got anything on those guys. They pretty good athletes, and I think we might just come off short against them. All right, well, let's chat a little bit about tomorrow's match. Quite exciting going up against the Springboks. Who are you looking forward most to facing out there? Well, to be honest, I think it's just going to be a fantastic day and it's a great initiative. I mean, uh, we're always big supporters of the Springboks and it's nice to, to play a game against them and just to interact with them a bit. Um, I've actually played a game against one or two of those guys before. Um, so I'm excited to face the likes of Victor Metfield, uh, Bismarck Duplessis, and, and see what they have to offer for us. All right, so you say you have faced some of them before. Tell us about that previous encounter. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago up by the Titans. We actually also had a bit of an initiative. Um, we played the Titans against the Blue Bulls. And obviously, um, Victor was one of the main guys there back then, so we did play against him back in the day. All right, lovely stuff. Varun, what has been the reception like? Um, because Cape Town is a destination that loves its cricket, they love their rugby, and they really do put out a very good show whenever cricket goes to Saharan Newlands. And it's exactly why we could not do something. We couldn't have a vacuum around this time at Newlands because the Newlands supporters are, are faithful. They love... Uh, South African cricket, they come out in their numbers to support uh, and that's why we had to create this uh, event which turned out to be the Cell C uh, Festival of Cricket. So uh, the support has been fantastic, um, the, the, the tickets have sold very well and we're expecting a bumper crowd. Uh, let's not forget there's more than just cricket taking place over the weekend. Uh, we've got some uh, fantastic uh, musical artists uh, that will also perform, that will entertain uh, while we wait for the cricket to take place, we've got the women's playing. Uh, so it's going to be a lot more than just uh, T20 cricket. Are there any tickets still available? There's still a few tickets available. Um, I'm sure uh, that somehow uh, uh, you'll see people finding ways uh, to get in because this is going to be something different. Uh, but there are still a few tickets available. Haroon, just explain to us what exactly is going to be happening over the weekend. We did mention that it is more than cricket. There's going to be a bit of a music concert. We've got the, uh, the Proteus taking on the Springboks tomorrow. But then we also have the national women's team. And we've also got all of the local T20 franchises that will also be competing over the weekend. That's correct. That's on Sunday when we kick off the Ram Slam uh, T20, the domestic uh, tournament. Uh, all six of our franchises, that in itself uh, is a first. Uh, we've never played them all on one day at the same venue. So there'll be a triple header uh, on Sunday uh, when we kick off the Ram Slam uh, T20. On Saturday, uh, we've got what we're calling uh, the North versus South State of the Origin match. 
so in this particular game, uh, all of the players were selected by the public. Uh, the fans were involved in selecting their favourite players. We've, we've got a squad of 13. Uh, we've appointed uh, Paul Adams to coach the South team, uh, Jeffrey Toyana to coach the North team, and between uh, the coaches and the captain, they'll determine the final playing 11. Uh, we've amended the playing rules to say that we'd like all 13 to participate. Uh, so the coaches and the captain can use a different batting 11 uh, to those that will do uh, the fielding and the bowling. Um, okay. So Proteus Springboks tomorrow, North versus South on Saturday, and a triple header, uh, all six franchises on Sunday. All right, of course, our national women also going to be taking part in the action on Saturday. I want to ask you something, David. I read an article that you said that you want to be classified, you hope to be classified uh, further on in your career as one of the best all-rounders. Now, in my intro, I mentioned that Jock Cullis has been included in the T20 squad. Are you quite excited about uh, being able to play some cricket with uh, one of the best in the world, Jock Cullis, who retired from Test cricket so just a uh, couple of days ago? Yeah, I mean, it's very exciting for me. I mean, my career is still quite young in terms of playing for the players and everything, and to be able to you know, just be in the same change room as someone like Jock, who's been instrumental for the players in so many years, and he's, he's achieved so much as a player and as a person, you know, I just look forward to you know, just learning from him and, and being, you know, being around him and, and just to see how he goes about things and, and just, you know, just, like I said, excited just to, to be playing with him. Yeah, I'm sure there are a couple of things that you're definitely going to learn from him, and I'm sure things that you'd want to be sharing with him. How has he inspired you? I mean, I think, it's, I think it's so great that we have one of the best in the world right here on our doorstep to inspire all young guys, and you've been able to watch him and see him as a role model. What did you think of his final match in Durban? No, I think he, that's, you know, that's exactly the way he deserved to, to end his career. I mean... I think for 18 years he's been a stalwart for the players. He's, you know, he's almost changed the mould as in terms of a player. I mean, back then when he started, it was either you were a batsman, you were a bowler, and that's it. You know, there wasn't really anyone who could handle his workload or you know do what he could do, batting at number three and then being, you know, a frontline bowler, putting it down at 140 kilometres an hour. That was almost unheard of. So, you know, for for him, he's he's brought so much to the game, and and just to be involved with with the game with him, it's, it's going to be fantastic for me. All right, and we wish you all the best of luck. Um, I know that the T20 squad are also preparing in earnest for the World T20 Championships to be held in Bangladesh in, Bangladesh in a just over, or just under three months' time. David Visa, Harun Loga, thank you very much for chatting to us here on Morning Live. All about the Festival of Cricket, which gets underway tomorrow, where the Proteus T20 squad go up against the Springboks. Let's continue.